Before a user is able to turn on two-step verification, an IT admin must first enable it in the control panel. Admins can enable two-step verification by navigating to Advanced Tools. Then, locate the Authentication section and select the checkbox to allow users to turn on two-step verification. Your changes will automatically be saved. Once enabled in the control panel, users will now have the ability to turn on two-step verification in their own account. To do so, go to your account settings and then select security. You will notice that two-step verification is off. To turn it on, simply click edit. After selecting edit, you may be prompted to re-enter your password. You will then be brought to a setup wizard to walk you through the steps. You may select proceed anyway if you are using a trusted computer. Then enter your phone number you wish to receive your codes to. Also, make the selection to receive the one-time code by voice or text. After you've completed the four steps of the wizard, you will confirm your two-step verification. You will be brought to a screen where you have the option to set passwords for your applications and mobile devices. You can easily browse through the screen to back up your phones, passwords, or print out your backup codes. To enforce two-step verification, you will find this option within the control panel. You will then navigate to the settings. Once in the settings, select security. Under security, you will find the option to enforce two-step verification. You have the ability to enforce two-step verification either for your entire domain or for sub-organizations. Be sure to reference our blog on how to effectively set up sub-organizations.